Today I'm going to be auditing this homepage of Superhuman and you can see that they have a big value proposition from here at the top. The fastest email experience ever made. Now to me, that just doesn't speak anything because I didn't know I needed faster email. And also, what is an email experience? My experience with email is always quite negative. I either want to get rid of it or I just want it to be more efficient. So either I want less of it or just it has to be efficient so I don't need to spend time on it. So faster is okay, but I don't know. Faster email, it just doesn't speak to me. Same thing here, the subtext, you have AI-powered email built for high-performing teams. Lots of fluff words, high-performing teams, AI-powered. Who doesn't have that? But I do like that get four hours back every week. Now, they don't in any way explain how that's even possible. But let's say we believe them, we're interested in this. So I would say from this value proposition, this is the only thing that is actually called my attention because if I could save four hours a week, that would be really great, especially with one tool. But it's not clear to me here how this tool works. It also, is it an, a different email client? So you have Gmail, Proton, Outlook, and now this is the new one, Superhuman? Or how does it work? Is it some sort of a Chrome plugin? So it's, it's not clear at all. Even here, this image just makes no sense to me. When I saw it, I was like, is this the tool? Uh, what's the purpose of these two images here? No idea. And then I guess they have the clients here, which is fine, but it's kind of too early. This is nice and it reassuring that somebody from Uber is using this tool, but it's a bit too early because I still don't know what the purpose of this tool is. Okay, Superhuman saves teams over 10 million hours every single year. I mean, that's nice. It's a big number. But how did you calculate it? I just have more questions than actually answers from this one. So I would just remove this part. It just doesn't add anything. Then there's this another explainer. It's more of a marketing language that the, the way I see it. Fly through email twice as fast as before. Be more responsive to what matters most. Eliminate email anxiety once and for all. All nice words, but actually, how does it help me? And oh, how, how does it work? So what do I need to do for this to actually happen? So then you have the screenshot. First, I thought this is the tool itself, but then I guess it's not, or maybe it's somehow there. It just, it's not very clear. To me, it's just not clear still what, the, what does this tool do? Only here, it's like, ah, okay, this is a build for Gmail and Outlook. So probably it's a plugin or a Chrome extension or something like that. This is helpful because I don't want to switch from my email provider if I'm already on Gmail or my company is already on Gmail. I'm not going to switch to superhuman or at least the threshold is much higher. So this should be like the second thing on the page because this clarifies what the tool is kind of. Superhumans make teams more productive. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure this is, uh, this could be useful maybe a bit later. Um, but again, it's a bit more marketing words than uh, anything else. And then we get into the benefits. And this is where you actually start getting what this tool is about. So I like this uh, sliding thing. The only thing here is there's a lot of text. You actually have to read through a lot. So if possible, it would be cool that some of them at least could be so that you can see them in action. Either it could be a video or a GIF or um, lotty animation. Could be also just that you could click on something or type something and then it shows you that. So for example, here it's saying introduce superhuman AI. So what if you could type some pre words and then it will show you how it actually works. That will be even cooler because then you're interacting with the, with the tool itself already before you even logged in. So that will be cool. You see that the benefits here, they start rolling through. All right. Follow up on time every time. Type less. But then... Oh, but they never end. It's it's still going on. There's still more benefits. It, some of these are very useful, but it's just too much at this stage. I haven't even started yet. And you're bombarding me with what it can do. I don't remember half of these. And it still goes on. You see? And still. There's like nine or ten of these. So I would definitely look into what are the main ones. So three to four main ones. And just add those. Make them a bit more interactive and just... Uh, more interesting and then you can introduce the rest the smaller ones later on either in your onboarding or maybe even uh, during the, the, the 
um, the sign up process, you can mention this, but this is way too much at this stage. This is just the home page. Then we come to this, I guess this is the social proof section. And I noticed immediately I didn't have time to read the, the quotes. They're quite long. And although some of them are useful, I just didn't feel like it. I feel like you need to have the social proof here, but I would execute it differently. It's just, it's not enough. It, it, you've added your own text here. I would prefer something like embed from uh, another source, Twitter feeds. I, I saw uh, when I went on the website and I opened this love section, by the way, you have here love in the menu. So I thought maybe that's the team or they're supporting some cause, but no, that's actually where the testimonials are, or I guess it's, reviews in Twitter. And this is much more interesting than what we saw here, just the text. I would say actually maybe take a few of these and put it in in instead of that text we saw before, because this is much more interesting. And so many people say something and they're so recent. We're talking about it's now half, it's like August 17 today. And, and you see multiple posts in August. You see a lot in July. So this is definitely something I would put in because it just gives you, oh, wow. There are a lot of people using this and they're loving it. And definitely just change this menu item. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not clear at all that that's where all the testimonials are, basically. And then you have a secondary button here at the bottom, which is fine. The images, I don't know. Maybe you could add a bit of text like uh, still unsure, contact ourselves, something like that. Because if you scroll this far, and you still have questions, maybe that would be a great place to just sort of a prompt them to, to do something about it. There's also the uh, main CTA is always following you and it's very clear on the page. So I do like that part. Um, so if we were talking about the action points from this uh, audit, I would definitely change the value proposition. This is just a bit too vague. So what I did, for example, I went, so I went here and I grabbed all these reviews just to grab the text and stuff. And then I put it into ChatGPT because I wanted to make a summary of it. So for example, here, ChatGPT has summarized all those reviews. I took like 50 of them. And now these kind of came up the most. There's a bit of fluff language. You need to massage this, uh, that's for sure. But at least here you have a summary of what people find useful. So then if I scroll down, I also did uh, ask ChatGPT to take a look at the reviews and. Just grab the best quotes out of there, five best quotes. And if we take a look at the third one here, it's a nice one. Superhuman AI makes writing emails effortless, jot down phrases, and it crafts a perfect email that sounds like you. It matches your voice and tone from previous emails. So that at least for me was like, oh, it's not just an AI. It also takes into account your uh, tone of voice. It can look at the previous emails you sent, and then it uses that. So using the words that uh, customers use on your reviews and on your testimonials, that's, that's golden. You should use those as benefits. And if there's any, uh, also if you notice people have certain uh, objections, you could also use those words and then say, you know, how you actually overcome those objections. A very simple way to actually summarize what people talk, how people talk about your product. So definitely new value proposition, a bit more clear and I would remove this block, uh, this I would put a bit lower, uh, then this one also just remove it, remove this one. And this should be the second block because it explains kind of how it works because it's a plugin or maybe it's a, a browser extension. But in any case, it's something that goes on top of your existing uh, tools, much easier to sell. This one you could put at the bottom if it really is needed. Uh, I don't find it so useful. I, I don't think it adds anything. Benefits should be the third section on the website, and then you can uh, just reduce the amount of them, maybe to three or four, add a bit more interactive elements there, uh, video, maybe something that you can actually click or interact with and test it out yourself. Just pick a, a three or four that your customers use the most, and maybe one in, in those three or four could be something that is very different from your compet competitors, and you wanna just be different in that sense. If we go through this, so definitely make it shorter because it took ages to go through these. And then for the social proof, I would execute this uh, slightly differently. There are better ways to do this. I do like that you have the text and you have the person who said it and even what they do it. But this way, I don't know. It just didn't feel like it was easy way to uh, scan this. And it also, 
it changes too quickly and it doesn't look like an, a normal testimonial. So I was almost, I almost uh, skipped this uh, section because I thought uh, it's just some, some stuff again. And here at the bottom, definitely you could just change this to a, a little bit more conversational and think about what are your customers doing at this point. So if they scroll the whole homepage, they're clearly interested in your product. So make it easier to take a, a smaller step to, to, to next one. So either that's a, you know, contact us or give it a try. I don't know, but right now this is a bit too just plain. It doesn't really speak to me. And maybe I have still some objections. Maybe you could also redirect to another page explaining certain things here. I don't know, but uh, with more research, you could find out what is the best way of implementing this. So just in general, if you're interested in an audit like this, you can just book it on my website. You pay for it, and then uh, you'll get a few questions about your uh, website, about your goals and your uh, potential customers, basically the visitors to the website. And after that, within the 48 hours, I will uh, do similar audit of your page and send a video to you. And I will try to challenge what is on the page. So I'll also say what's good, but I'll try to mostly challenge so that you have something to work with, something to change so that you get more fresh perspectives and you don't, you're not stuck in your own ways. So I, my biggest goal is that you're able to take a three or four action points from this and change your page and have higher conversion rate. And I hope you're tracking conversion rate or some sort of sign up rate or whatever that is for you, because otherwise it's really hard to see if you actually improve. So you definitely need to first measure. And just in general, I give feedback, not only on the design, but a bit of on strategy. In some cases, I can give you specific, uh, just where to move elements or just how I feel about the page as a potential customer. So, so if that sounds interesting, just feel free to book an audit and then we will see each other there.